All right, so now I'm going to replace the subwoofer. Why? Because I can. Uh, I'm being kind of silly, but it's kind of the truth. So I've already pulled out the old one. It's a Fusion, seems pretty nice. Um, and as you can see in there, I've started cutting the hole. I'll show you in a second how I do that. So I have to make the hole bigger to replace it with a kicker. KMF-10, subwoofer with four ohms. Um, Part of me thinks this, this Fusion, it doesn't get great reviews. It came with the boat. Someone before me did it. Um, it's not really paired well to existing amps or the amps I want to move to. Um, I think it's uh, 400 watts, way too much power, or way too much wattage for the amps that are pushing it. So this one, if I remember, I can't see the number. Um, I can't see it, but I remember it was about 200 watts. So I'm excited. I didn't get a grill, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to upgrade to a grill. I was hoping the existing grill here would work from the Fusion one, but it's not. Of course not, right? So more to come. I'll show you a little bit how I'm cutting. And uh, yeah, keep you posted. All right, so I've got my Dremel. It's a Dremel 300 electric, not battery. Uh, really haven't used this much for any projects. Had it for a long time. Hopefully you can see it. There she is. Hopefully you can see this as well. I started by starting with my one of my existing screw holes. Um, and I've made it pretty far. It's not the fastest operation, but it'll get the job done. And I don't have a lot of room up here at the top, so I have to make this hole bigger. Not by much, maybe most a half inch in some spots. So I'm starting, I'm trying to do most of my cutting on this side and on the bottom because I've got a hose over here. That looks like a vent hose is my guess. It might be a drain hose actually, I'm not sure. But I want to stay away from it. I double check to make sure there's nothing behind here I'm going to hit and as I move along I stop and do a little cleaning so uh, let's see how this goes. I was kind of doing short little bursts here. I didn't want to go too deep and kept seeing I kept falling out and I was okay with that because I don't want to hit that hose right there. I mean, it's not crazy close, but close enough. Who only knows what it looks like inside of all that dust. I'm probably going to die from sucking all this dust because I don't have a mask in my face, but I'm going to keep cutting and see if the new one fits. All right, so I put connectors on the ends. Previous person did not. They just had them attach the screws on the subwoofer. Use my favorite new tool, a uh, heat shrinker maybe, I'm not sure what it's called, to melt the wires, you can see. And uh, away we go. I actually clipped off the ends to get, a, to get a good, nice, clean connection. Time to connect it to the sub and power it up. See how it goes. Keep you posted. Let me get my finger out of there so you guys can see. Turning out to be an easier project than I thought. It's not fun being under this bench, but uh, fingers crossed it continues that way. All right, <laughs> so this is a first, I think. I finished, and the first dry fitting worked. Popped right in there, snug as a bug and a rug. So now we'll drill out some holes for the new the mounts, get, the, get, it, get it connected to the wires, and hopefully it works. All right, hang in there. All righty, finished product. Got my kicker, 10-inch sub installed, not too bad. Um, one of the easier projects on the boat. Hope you guys enjoy this. 
Like it if you did. Subscribe, please. Help me out. Let's get some, some momentum here. Get a movement going with uh, working on these 380s. Thanks, folks.